Hello friends, greetings from Jogal Women Hospital, Bhuj Kach. We will demonstrate a 22 year old female case with MRKH planned for David of Vaginoplasty. This is the laparoscopic view and this is the vaginal end view. We started with posterior dissection first. As you can appreciate the fat and interiorly the vaginal plate, we are dissecting in between this plane. Millimeter by millimeter dissection was carried out. Fat being pushed posteriorly. And so called rectovaginal space was developed. Same time dissection from the vaginal end was also carried out along the vaginal plate and you can appreciate the topmost point of dissection from below. Here is the sponge on a holder pushing from vaginal end. This is the point where we will be giving incision later on. to connect lower end of vagina with the peritoneal cavity. Similarly, dissection was carried out anteriorly. Vesicovaginal fold was open. Bladder was pushed down. Here the difficulty that we face as compared to a normal patient is that whatever advantage we get with the help of cervix while pushing UV fold, we doesn't get here. Similarly dissection was carried out laterally. Peritoneal fold was cut lateral to the IP ligament. Now the purpose of this dissection laterally is to mobilize ovaries as medial as possible. This is the remnant of the round ligament we are cutting. Now this peritoneal dissection was continued till the dissection of vesicovaginal fold. As I was saying the purpose of this dissection is to make sure that both the ovaries are medialized so that whenever patient is being treated for infertility ovum pickup can be done easily through the vaginal route instead of trans abdominal ovum pickup which is a difficult task. Now on the right side the dissection was a bit difficult as patient had right pelvic ectopic kidney so we are very slow in dissection. Millimeter by millimeter dissection was carried out. Each and every fold was thoroughly scrutinized. As we were not aware of the course of ureter and course of renal artery and vein. As you can see the bulge of right ectopic pelvic kidney and the lowermost fold which was most likely corresponding to the fold of bladder. So this is the point where we were expecting ureter to be. Now this vessel was most likely the remnant of uterine vessel as, this, as it was supplying the remnant of uterine bud. This is the right ureter and you can appreciate the peristalsis of right ureter here.
and here you can see after opening the retroperitoneum the outline of right ectopic pelvic kidney and this is the remnant of right uterine artery now after adequate mobilization on both the sides here you can appreciate that both the peritoneal folds are able to come in the midline with it self injecting on both the sides incision was given on the most prominent part which was extended laterally on the top of sponge on a holder now why people prefer levodo vaginoplasty or mckindo vaginoplasty because in mckindo vaginoplasty we need to use a graft be it amnion graft be it skin graft but in levodo vaginoplasty here we are using peritoneum itself to line the vagina as you can see the ellis forcep is being used to pull out the posterior vaginal fold that we have created in the similar manner anterior fold was also taken out both the fold was stitched using 20 vicryl at the introitus the pelvic peritoneum will now be lining the new vagina now the apex of the vagina is being closed in pearl string manner using number 1 vicryl the point to be noted here is that whenever apex of the vagina is created we need to take a bite posteriorly on the serosa of rectum to close the defect posteriorly this is the final end view almost 10 to 12 cm of vagina was created post operative mold was advised to patient and this is the vaginal end view thank you